Hello everybody. I think we are live. Did our new graphics work? Welcome to Whiskey Mystery. I'm Phil. I'm Viva. Is everyone hearing us fine today? Give us a thumbs up in the comments. Is anyone seeing anything? Let's see. Today, what are we going to be tasting? Has anyone said... Deeper uh, side top. Deeper side top, okay. Who's picking? Who was it who chose today? Evening Scott. Sunday evening Scott? <laughs> okay. Yeah. We have got number... This is going to be number 62. Everyone hear us okay? Uh, number 62. Oh, look, we have a new camera angle. Whoa, Whoa look, look at that. that. Cool. cool. Let's, Let's see, see what, what we're going, going to get. get. Wow. Pretty, Pretty clear. clear. Or, or something for deeper, deeper as well. Mmm. What do we think? Actually, I should pour. Um, <laughs> I should pour. A little one also, because then, then we can see, see if we get, get any bubbles. bubbles. Let's, Let's see, are, are we, we going, going to get, get high ABV? Oh, well, that's pretty, pretty good. good. Wow, that, that is holding. holding. Let's, Let's see, see. Look, look how much that is holding, holding bubbles. bubbles. Mm, nice. Okay, who's in? Oh, dual audio with this camera. You are right. I was supposed to turn that off. Hang on. Where, Where is, is that, that glass, glass cam? cam? There we go. <laughs> Thank, thanks for that. I think that should be better now. Did everyone hear properly? Lots of bubbles. There we go. Let's try it again. Mm, so that is looking like it is high ABV and uh, let's see who is in. I see Lewis, Ero Kwame, Graham Fraser, Sunday evening Scotch, Brie as well maybe, Brianne, uh, just another whiskey couple. Hey, first time. Thanks, just another whiskey couple. So. Deeper. It's for the fun. <laughs> I do not know about the east, but it's 39. Uh, it's, oh. There's almost a beat, almost, but not very. Okay. So, I haven't really explained, have I? Welcome to our blind tasting. You keep going on notes, where we are blind tasting our way through all the whiskeys mm. that we try to taste. We are up to number 62, and we have about 100 on the shelf here. And all of those bottles are in a spreadsheet, and we should be able to have a look at the spreadsheet today. You can keep watching deeper. So all of the bottles on the shelf are in here. And the first thing we try to do is to try and establish the ABV. So what are we thinking? It's high. 50, 54, 55. It is high ABV because we've got these bubbles that just sit there and it's probably quite old as well. Ah, uh, Brianne's at work. Okay, so... Oh, okay. Brianne is at work. Oops. Looks like I was just uh, <laughs> typing numbers into my spreadsheet. <laughs> if we bring up the spreadsheet again, and I... Let's order this by ABV. Because we're going to be in the hot zone. Do you think it's over 50? Yeah, 55. 54. Let's see. Is there a uh, of smoke? Mm. Okay, that's pretty hot. And um, batteries here are very perverse. So we're probably going to be above. We're going to be in this range, aren't we? Going up here. Somewhere, I don't think it's as high as that, but somewhere, maybe, maybe in about this many. Okay. We'll come in, back to that in a minute. In, uh, in an MD class, 
Akan ni mau semel dan putih peski. Ya. Tapi putih emni kira. Akan ni mau of sweet jenis ah candy emin sal. Okay, so let's go over the basics. It's hard candy, lemon. Is there sherry? No. It's light enough that it could be just um, bourbon barrels, but it could also be a refill sherry. And then a dash of Hey, smoke. Jeremy. Jeremy's in, Super Social Club. I can't quite read all the names from here. You can, you can read out who's in. So we're guessing, we're trying to guess. It's, it's probably going to be in this. Uh, um, a f- flower. Oh, I'm a flower. Oh. I'm uh, I'm destroying my spreadsheet. Here you go. That's better. Very very good flower, but very subtle. So it's a company of flower and breakfast cereal and breakfast cereal. So, okay, you read um, notes for a little bit. I mean, you need read comments, and I'll start filling in. So it is definitely more floral and lemon. Mm-hmm. It is smoky, but not from air, but very subtle. Now, Deepa often says smoke when I don't think it's smoke, but it's like the barrel char, maybe? Mm, that is too bitter. It is free smoke. It's very, uh, 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 For me, I'm not getting any peat smoke at all. But it, I think this is smoky in the way that you would say that Kleinlish is smoky. Mm, oh, yeah, yeah, ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. We have one. Uh, but that is very old, Kleinlish. Hang on, do we have an old Kleinlish though that could be strong enough? Um, Not at the moment. Okay. Oh, I'm getting more smoke after putting my stick it up. But oh, I'm getting a metallic finish. A bit metallic? I'm going for a little bit of. I'm just a body of a tan. Let me put a, quite a bit of water on mine. Yes, it's sort of like malted malted apple. Um, malted apple. Definitely fruity, slightly green apple with a bit of nectarine type of fruit. Mmm. It's our candy. Okay, I'm getting uh, candy. It I is mean, hard candy sweetness, and there is quite a bit of spiciness yes. in the second half. I, right. I, I'm getting metallic as well. Metallic. I don't know if I'm getting anything metallic. How are our guesses going? Yeah, I think we got candy as well. Oh, mm. nice. I'm thinking old. Right, what could it be? And probably a dependent. Do you think it's um? Do you think it could be fifty percent? Let's see. Fifty, fifty-two. It's not that. Oh, he needs to have a me making fifty-five. Come on, focus. Oh. I think it's above fifty, but you never know. Let's just back. Is that Glen Alleghi? Brooklyn, the kill home, and let's see. I'm just going to Longmorn. There is a 50% Longmorn. Could that be Longmorn? Oh, but Glen Alleghi. It could be that. Oops. And what then? I'm typing in my spreadsheet again. Oh, <laughs> I'm getting a more of a smoke. So I'm asking me Glenis. It's very familiar, but the cat needs. Could it be the Jura? I don't know anything about Jura. Let's see, the Glen Alecky is a good guess, it, I think. Um, it's going to be about 57. I don't think that's strong. No, probably not as strong as 57. More at 54, 55. And it's not too yeah, sherry. Yeah, it's over 50, for sure. Right. Mmm. <laughs> it's in your me. I'm not very good at it. Yeah. Fantastic. That is good. That's the only thing that it's stuck in my at the end. 
Tuh, ibu nak pamit dah ni. Tak sedih lagi. Apa itu? A bit of bite to it. I wouldn't say metallic, but I see where you're going though. Kind of um, tight, tight pepper. I maybe a tight pepper. Yes, it's towards the pineapple side as well. A little bit of water does help it. It's definitely pepper. There's not. There's nowhere near that much peat smoke. I mean, I don't think there's any smoke in it at all. I think there's a little earthiness that could be barrel char. Okay, where would you put this on the shelf? I think it's better. I think it's better than the Tobamori. I think it's better than the Glen Grant. I think we're up here. Okay. Oh, even even people got by hand. Would you give it a gold star? Yes. <laughs> so we're so we're two golds. Hmm. If they call me Shura. It could um, be the Jura. Uh, it, it, no, 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 that's Japanese one because it's too stuck. I think. But Japanese. I think it is either. And it's not it done a funky cheap or split back. So it can't be split back. Let's, let's or maybe pull it could, down it could the be. possibilities. I'm going to grab them. No, 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 I'm going to back. Because at the back is at the top of the oven, the more I I think we're in this we're in this kind of range. So um, let's see if we can do. Uh, yeah, I think it's more of a reef. Let's see if we do glass camera. You could probably read them better. Hey, look at that! That's cool. <laughs> so don't tell no clanish. No, I thought we had the clanish in, but. But we do not. So, um, Jura is 24 years old. And I'm looking for what type of oak. Doesn't really say. Oh, refill bourbon. 50.1%. The Glen Alaki is 50.6%. And it's also just refill bourbon. Refill barrel. The flavor is not very strong. It's more of okay. it's more water than flavor. And the lung but overall is delicious. Darkness. And the long morn is also a refill barrel. Mm. Okay. I think uh, there's only three options. Well no, there's lots of options, but I'm thinking it's one of these three. I've a niche. We don't have one. No. Oh, I'm you. surprised. We have Kleinlish, it's just not in the blind tasting. Oh, Okay, uh, that I will probably go for sure. Okay, are we, are we, uh, are you reading, are you reading the chat? I could read the chat a little bit here as well. Let me take the spreadsheet off again. Are you that, that for Ireland? Is it the area? Predominantly, fruit, it's sure. strong fruity start, peppery spiced finish. But it's more of the Puerto Rican. The flavour. It's not concentrated flavour. Relatively simple, but lovely. Mmm. Okay. Are we ready? Um, what are we thinking? Mm. Let's see. Every gum at the top, I can get a feel of the smoke. Oh. So I'm not getting smoke for you to. Let's see, there is a Kleinlish. Oh, yes. Let me go up to 34. Michael spotted one, Sunday evening scotch. That's true. I think it's higher than 46 ABV. I got a granish. You think it's 46? Come on, the shake test says otherwise. Look, 46? You're not going to get, you're not going to get 46 to do that. Uh, but it's oily. Well, it's pretty oily when you see the bubbles hanging around like that. <laughs> yeah, and I see about 50 is too strong. Right, I think it okay, is time. I got sure. And I'm going to go for Longmorn. Oh, Craig Ellicky? The Craig Ellicky I would expect to have a bit of the coppery kind. Well, you said metallic finish. Craig Ellicky does have a copper finish. Every, every 
Okay, uh, what votes do we it's have? It's about a Atheus is going to be Not this ABV. Okay, are we ready for the reveal? <laughs> ABV is 50. Oh, I think that's looking good for me. Oh no, hang on. It's 50. It says 50.6. Oh! It's a 25 year old. <laughs> 25. $168. I think. I think. Oh, I was saying Craig Ellicky. This is a Glen Ellicky. <laughs> All the time I was saying Craig Ellicky, I've mixed that up before. So I think we have to say that was a lose for both of us. <laughs> and, uh, Let's see, Sunday evening scotch, I think we'll give you the fireworks on that one. So this is a brand new We only We have the Glen Alecky 12. I I think we should do a comparison. Should we compare with the Glen Alecky 12? What do you think? I'm going to We've got to run down and uh I th okay, here's an idea. While I just prepare the comparison, why don't we have a flashback to a movie of when we could go to liquor stores? You watch this for a few minutes and we'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Sunday morning in Dogpatch, which is part of San Francisco. You might see the city in the background. A couple of tall buildings. But there is a liquor store just around the corner here where I bought the Old Pulteney 21. And they do also have a Springbank 20 Fresh Sherry and Brookladdy Black Art. <laughs> Only the top shelf for deeper. <laughs> that one? Yeah. I have like a four I look at the Springbank on the far left. Yeah. Okay, what do we have here? Oh. Hi there. So I'm not going for 100 bucks for you. That's money. That's uh, basically it's 700 for both plus tax. Yeah. It's gonna be like almost 770. Yeah. So I'm not going for buck 70 for you. That'll be 600. All right, we'll do it. Appreciate it. You will enjoy. Thanks a lot. Great. <laughs> right now we need to put them in our Stoke-on-Trent bag. <laughs> Thank you. Good deal. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye now. Have a good day. Huh? Have fun, guys. We will. Thanks. Bye now. That was exciting. So what we got there is this Springbank, 20 year old. If you can read it, it's fresh sherry. Fresh sherry, let's see, distilled April 1997 and bottled 20. Okay, that's enough of that movie. Let's send them down. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> I didn't know if that was going to work on a, a live stream, but it looks like maybe it has. Fantastic. So we have, um, let me go to the clam camera. So this is the bottle that we've got. Here's the Glen Allecky 12, and here is something else that we can compare to, which is the um, Glen Grant 20 year. Because I think it might be better than that. We paid $168 for this old particular Glen Alecky. Wait, yes. Uh, we bought it from the Scotch Whiskey Auctions. And that is a pretty good price. So let's compare to... I a beautiful moth. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Let's compare these two. Right, for now. Glenallachie 12, which was Ralphie's Whiskey of the Year, versus the 25. Now, we're talking about the $63 bottle versus 163 Seems to be a bit um, more pineapple on the 12 now. It's been open for quite a while. Mmm. Ah, it's got that lovely roundness from the age being in that refill barrel. Uh, those nice tropical notes integrated. <laughs> but I the... Okay. Mm. I can see where this is coming from. It's just a younger, harsher, bitier version. That is pretty interesting. Nice. Actually, this has mellowed out quite a bit from when we first tasted it. Oh, I see. I... Oh, I see. No, I'm getting the same milk. The same flavor. Coffee. But I, I prefer a bit more frothish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's not smoke. I don't think. I, the proper, um, is I think it's barrel char. I think it's the that oak effect. Now, were you talking about the young one or the old one? The old one. Yeah. But it's also has the same smoky effect as well. Okay. Now, we're going to go... It's the best butter. Every month. Oh, I can understand that because I am already loving this one. I always feel a bit sad when I see I've bought it from Scotch Whiskey Auctions, which means it's probably a single cast that was only in the UK because it is a 700 mil. Uh, this barrel, in case you're interested, is DL12397. Okay. Glenallachie 25. Mm -hmm. Ovary. Round nectarine and apple fruit integrated oak. Yumminess. Glen Grant 20. Oh, much more honey. Honey and melon. Mm. A light honey into quite a bitter oakiness. This doesn't have bitter oakiness at all. I have of, um, more foody. That is definitely going up there. Oh, I think this is going to be a high scorer. Oh, I think it's very nice oh. as well. <laughs> oh, it's difficult for me to choose. To okay. to do. I'm going to put it. I, I prefer this sadly about this. I'm going to put it up here along with Ben Nevis. That's pretty much a top scorer for us. Um, because I think I'm more of a, a topical shine. I think it's more of a, a big food. Yeah. I think, though, this is another win for independent bottle. The old refill bourbon, which seems to be the thing that we keep going back to. Because now we have, you know, we've got the Glen Talkers at the top, which we absolutely love. Very similar in terms of its pineapple and very old integrated refill barrel. We have an Ardmore. We have like four independent bottles now, five in that top little section, and they offer great value. Give me a moment to read some of the chat. You talk, I'll read. <laughs> Sunday evening, Scott saying, love the effect, totally worked. Oh, good. Again, you. Doing very well here. Radix in, Graham Young's in, Graham Frazier. Hi, everybody. Good to see everyone in. Is everyone having a drink? I, I mean, I, we put this on at lunchtime in the US for us in California, but I know a lot of people in Europe will be in the evening now. Were you going to ask something? No, I, I forgot that you can read over there. <laughs> I'm reading over here. Deepa's reading over there. Um. Better be back to better from Okay. Uh, so, from Ocean. Hi, Melissa. Scotch Whiskey Auctions is an auction site in the UK. It's run out of Glasgow. My parents live there, so we can order things and pick them up when we visit. Hopefully we get to visit soon because there are some bottles 
sitting at home. Uh, but if you look up Scotch whiskey auctions, they're, they're currently on hold, understandably. But um, it's always fun to browse their back catalogue and see what things have gone for. And so this one was um, worked out at $168, which includes you know, delivery and everything. Um, there is a 25% tariff on top now as well. Any other questions coming in? Well, uh, Sandy, we've got to go up the alligator. Ah. Oh, you mean, uh, get it. You've got the Cadenhead Glen Alki. It's going to be pretty similar. Maybe I should send you some, Michael, in that sample lineup I owe you, and you could do a comparison. That would be good. Erokwami is, is having a teeling plantation rum. Teeling? As in Irish whiskey teeling? Uh, or is that a completely different rum teeling? I don't know. <laughs> All right. It is very pleasant. Which one's which here? Ah, uh, candy again. Yeah, that is and good. I just uh, some the smoke in the background now. Would you Would you buy another bottle? Not really, because of that metallic finish at the end. So that means Deepa's not buying another bottle of anything below this one. <laughs> <laughs> That's delicious. I'm going to have it all for myself then. You okay. don't like it. All right, people. I think it is time to wrap up. I mean, it's a, it's a bottle of free line. I mean, of course, I'd rather after the end of the others. <laughs> All right, I think we'll call it there and uh, we'll see if we can get another one in tomorrow uh, before Roy's. Aquavite will be doing another uh, live tomorrow and so we'll try and see you at the same time for now.